Loving-kindness meditation, beginning with a spiritual friend. Take a few deep breaths. Get some oxygen in the body. Now let's relax the body. Never jump into your meditation. Let the meditation come to you. We're not here to strive or to work. We're here to enjoy and to be happy. Let's relax the body from the top of the head. Relaxing down through the face. the back of the neck, shoulders, chest. Roll your shoulders, make sure you're comfortable, well situated into the chair or sitting on the floor is okay. Either position is fine. You don't want any stress in the position that you're sitting. Relaxing down through the stomach. This wave of tranquility going down through your body. Touching the chair or the floor. Hands folded in front of you, or however is comfortable for you. Eyes closed. Legs are relaxing. And all that, any tension and tightness that is left goes through your feet into the floor. And your feet are firmly on the floor. The body is relaxed. Now sit as still as possible. Do not move, do not itch. Try to get comfortable and then don't move from that position. You can slightly move your head. If you're sitting longer, you can open your eyes, check the time if it's a clock is in front of you. We don't tend to use timers unless we have to. We have to be somewhere. The mind naturally calms down as you just sit and do nothing, relax. It's already starting to calm down. This is your vacation away from your daily life. You have a half hour or more to just sit and be happy to love yourself and to love others and to be generously radiating that loving kindness out into the world. So let's put a little smile on our face. This is a smiling meditation. A smile tells your brain that it's happy. And when you're not smiling, it says, maybe you're not so happy. Maybe you're down a little bit. Maybe you're thinking. 
doesn't have to be a big smile, just a little smile on your face in, and also from your mind. So you know you're smiling. And from your heart. And let's feel that smile. Make it sincere. I want you to direct this smile and this feeling of loving kindness to yourself. To help you with this feeling, you can think of maybe a baby looking into the baby's eyes. You don't have to push loving kindness to, into the baby. You just simply see the little baby and smiling, and you smile too. Or petting a dog, or having the cat on your chest, or in your lap. Anything that makes you smile. and put some imaginary arms around them. This is a loving kindness meditation. I want you to mostly focus on the feeling of loving kindness. There are other wholesome feelings. There's of course, tranquility and peace. There is just a general feeling of happiness, contentment. These are all good too, but please come back to metta or loving kindness when you can. Now feel that kindness and feel that kindness for yourself. You are a good person. You are here working on yourself. You are doing good for your, yourself and the world. And you deserve that loving kindness. It's okay to love yourself. You may feel I'm not worthy of this, I'm not good enough, whatever. That's just thoughts. You've done many, many good things in the past. If you need to f reflect on a few, please do. You can say some phrases, may I be happy, may I feel loving kindness, but I want those phrases to be about what you're feeling and not things outside of that, because we're developing this feeling. Take yourself and put yourself in your heart. And give yourself a heart hug. May I be happy. 
May I be free from anger. May I act kindly in all situations. Now your mind may wander. It's not going to stay with this feeling for long. And that's okay. So what to do? You recognize that your mind has, is no longer with this feeling and not on this thought of loving kindness. And you just take a moment. We're not going to run back to the loving kindness object. What we're going to do now is we're going to recognize we're off. We're going to notice how that happened. And we're just going to release that process. And relax. Relax the tension, the tightness that took you away into thinking. Or there might have been a loud sound or something that distracted. No need to think about that. Release that thought. Relax your desire to continue thinking about it. Resmile. The smile brings up the feeling of loving kindness. And return to holding yourself in your heart. And as long as your mind is not moving around, that's good enough. You don't have to have a super strong feeling. Even just a little weak feeling of kindness is enough. Just stay with that. It will get stronger or weaker, whatever it wants to do. Just be sincere. Now you feel this loving kindness for yourself for about 10 minutes.
And after that, we move on to a spiritual friend. We're going to take a spiritual friend who is somebody that we like, typically of the same sex, but somebody that we don't have any lustful feelings arise. They're just a, a friend, a colleague, a teacher, a monk or nun or whatever works for you that you see them and you respect them and you could feel some loving kindness for them. And see them smiling and happy. At first we just use one person because our kindness is weak. We don't send it out to the rest of the world yet. That's later. So for now, one person. Doesn't have to be the perfect choice. This is just a, an exercise. And we'll hold this person in our heart for the next 20 minutes. Or as long as we sit past that. So take your spiritual friend, put him or her in your heart, and smile at them. Surround them with your loving kindness. Hold them in your heart just like the baby. May my friend be happy as I am happy. May they feel loving kindness as I feel loving kindness. You can use some phrases. Now let this feeling grow. Now you may have some feelings of restlessness come up as you've been sitting a little longer now. And that's just nothing more than a feeling. There's nowhere that you need to be. It's a painful feeling. It's in your body. And just let that feeling be there. And come back. Relax. Release. Come back to your smile and your loving kindness for your friend. That feeling will disappear as long as your attention is not focused on it. It's not an emergency. It's only a feeling. You may have an itch that you want to scratch. Again, not an emergency, just a painful feeling. Let it be there.
Later on in this meditation, you may have painful mental feelings. You may have sadness. You may have grief. You may have any number of things. These are feelings in the mind. Painful. But do not push them away. Let them be there. This is what is unique about this meditation. Recognizing there is pain and not reacting. Letting that reaction go. That's craving. The goal of this meditation is to eliminate craving. To see all feelings as equal. Not disturbing us. To have only wholesome feelings. We are using right effort. Right effort is noticing there's something painful that is bothering us in our mind or in our body. Letting that feeling go. Bringing up a wholesome feeling, which is your smile. And loving kindness and returning to your object. The four right efforts. There is nothing in there that says strive, push, clench your teeth. It's a simple process. And that process leads to a state called jhana. And that will come soon enough later on. And you'll feel some joy like you've never felt before. But stay with your friend. May my friend be happy. May they feel loving kindness.
And again, if your mind has wandered either into thought or feeling restless or aversion or desire or sloth and torpor, recognize that with the six R's. That's just something interesting to look at. It's not bad. Just take a moment, release it. This is part of the meditation. When you let go of the hindrance, this is going to take you to the progression to the next step, which is the jhana. This is when you release, relax the hindrance after it gets weak. And then all of a sudden there's just no hindrances left. But you don't do this by jerking your mind back to the object. That's using craving to fight craving. Some people will send loving kindness to their hindrances. It's a way to soften into them. Drops. Don't resist or push. Soften. Smile. Another acronym. Another way to see this. Sometimes if you need a little hit, a little strengthening of your loving kindness, and you're meditating with somebody, send it to them in your room, in the room here. Just let's radiate some loving kindness to everybody in the room. Take everybody and put them in your heart. See everybody smiling and happy. May everyone in the room be happy, content, Never use the phrases as a mantra. When you say them, it's just to remind you of the feeling. It's just to nudge it along. You can say a phrase and then let it go. Metta is a subtle feeling. It's a warm, glowy feeling. Some people experience it in a big way and some in a little way.
when you feel that, especially in your heart, put your attention more on that feeling than the friend or the friend is there, but in the background. Now it's the feeling. The feeling is just simply an impersonal feeling. There's nothing, there's nobody really there. But it is, it is loving kindness. So let your mind go into that feeling. You'll always know that that's where it's going. But now, put most of your attention on the feeling. The vibratory feeling. All of the jhanas are feelings. You can always start with loving kindness and it will automatically take you through the higher levels, compassion, altruistic joy, and equanimity automatically. There's no need to start at either one of those if you don't want to, if if you can't pull it up and just go to loving kindness and Stay with your loving kindness until it goes to the next feeling and then stay with that feeling. This is for later on in the retreat. If you can sit down and start with equanimity and really sincerely feel that, then that's okay. But if you're not sure, start with loving kindness, and that loving kindness will disappear, and it will be replaced very quickly by compassion, and by some joy, you might not even feel it, and then equanimity. It might just take a few minutes, or it takes your whole sitting. But loving kindness is the gateway that will take you through. And when you can't pull it up and there's another feeling there, then you'll know that you have completed the loving kindness. And that feeling may start to expand, get quieter. Stay with that feeling. That is compassion or karuna. Now after some time this feeling may change into a very sublime, subtle joy. Not a super happy joy, but just a light, but all-pervading kind of joy. There may be some flickering at the sense bases, and that's okay. Stay with that sublime feeling and smile. then this feeling may turn into a deeper, balanced feeling of equanimity, or upeka. Stay with this feeling. It's vibrating. And when that vibration that lower vibration 
disappears, then you notice that it's gone, then you're just with mind. And that will become your object. The movements of the mind, and you'll 6R any of those movements. But this is for the advanced student. And if it happens on its own, which it can from the spiritual friend, then you can continue with it. Now after some time, your sitting will be complete and you can go out and walk. When you walk, you walk at a normal pace, not too fast, not too slow. You take your spiritual friend for a walk. You wish your spiritual friend happiness and peace and loving kindness. 
you hold them in your mind and just kind of see them and wish him or her happiness as you walk. Don't look around. Just keep your mind with the friend. And you can set up like a 30 paces um, length walkway. You can walk back and forth. Or you can walk around on the road or wherever is easy. Don't make it hard. Don't walk in circles. Try to walk in straight lines. And use your 6R process when you've wandered and your mind goes away. And it's going to go away quite a bit because now your eyes will be open. But walking is very powerful. You can attain jhana easily with walking. If you keep your mind with your friend. And after 20, 30 minutes of walking, come back and sit. And that will be happening just throughout the day. And when things are going well, extend your sitting even longer. 30 minutes is minimum. Go for 45 minutes, one hour. When you're experiencing a really good sitting, don't just go, oh, wow, that's, ex that's really great. I'll just come back and start that again. You won't. You'll sit down wanting something to happen. Don't ever want anything to happen, because it won't if you want it. But if it's going well, sit as long as you can, an hour and a half, two hours. The longer you go, the more your mind will calm, the more insights can come. Now your body may be restless. Restlessness is a vibration. It's not pleasant. But simply let it be there. Release worrying about it. Relax. You have nothing else to do in the world. 